My name is Maja Kovac. I'm from the Museum and Galleries of Ljubljana. I'm actually a, a communication officer there, a head of communication department. Uh, so I'm not from the branch of um, archaeology. Um, I will present in my presentation that was made in cooperation with um, our archaeologist Bernardo Županek and my colleague, um, marketing expert uh, Tamara Brigar. Um, I'll present our experience in combining archaeology and tourism in the case of archaeological park in Mona, a 2000 year old Roman settlement, predece predecessor of today's Ljubljana. Um, it's actually two, two tur archaeological tourism projects that we made in the last years, so I'll, I'll uh, try to be very specific. Um, okay, so I have to... yeah. Um, but first, before focusing on our experience with uh, these two projects, uh, let me illustrate the broader context. The context the Museum and Galleries of Ljubljana, or in short MGML, uh, is a public institution. It takes care of Ljubljana's heritage um, from the prehistoric pre period to until the present day. And the MGML consists of several uh, locations, including the City Museum of Ljubljana, the Archaeological Park Semona, um, the Six different uh, city, uh, six different art galleries. Um, that there are some other locations as well. Uh, so the archaeological park Mona is an integral part of our institution uh, in presenting the archaeological remains of a Roman period settlement in the today's center of the city. Um, so. Uh, so just that you can imagine the, the places of this archaeological park in the city centre. Um, it's really, uh, there are ten locations in the centre, uh, in the centre of the city, uh, the remains of Roman Colonia Iulia Emona. Um, the park developed gradually from the 1930s on, uh, with some locations being discovered in the 1960s 60s and 80s, uh, as a product of specific context and tied to the idea of antiquity and its heritage as civilizing and inherently understandable, and to Roman archaeology as elite-oriented, uh, it was less interesting for the general public and gradually became obsolete and even unknown to the, uh, to the inhabitants of Ljubljana. Um, on the photo on the right, yes, you can see um, a very poor, poor, poor signpost uh, for one of the locations of the park from the 80s. So you can imagine that people actually didn't know about the, the park. Um, the lack of on-site information uh, about the Roman remains and their context and consequently the lack of visitors uh, of the park led to a larger project of renovation and revitalization of the uh, Emona Park in 2011 and 12. Um, during this project, several key changes and improvements have been made, such as the conceptualization of a park as one entity and not at separate points uh, around the Ljubljana center. So a circular trail of Roman Ljubljana was developed, marked by on-site information boards that you can see here, and uh, municipality managed signposts throughout the city. Um, the primary goal of the project was to approach, invite and include different target groups using different ways of com communication such as guided tours and uh, customized guided tours as um, my predecessor said before, um, a video guide for deaf and hearing impaired, printed maps, a special printed family guide, and one from E2A, also available in English, um, uh, workshops and programs for schools and kindergartens, QR codes, uh, implementation of one ticket for several MGML locations, etc. 
Within the renovation of the park, special attention was also given to the, um, to the easy access for the disabled people. Uh, a significant effort was made within our cooperation with Ljubljana Tourism Organization. This is the only municipality-founded organization um, that is exclusively responsible for tourism development and, pro and promotion of our city, so our co cooperation was necessary. Um, so, um, in cooperation with them, we prepared a scientific basis for tourist guides and conducted some lectures for them and also prepared a special printed guide for tourists. Uh, the renovation and uh, revitalization of the Imona Park was actually our first extensive cooperation with the Ljubljana Tourist Organization. And within this project, the, park, uh, the park's five-year management plan was made and it also included a strategy for further cooperation with Ljubljana Tourism Organization, planning a steady yearly gro growth of visitors. Um, by far the largest archaeological project that we made in cooperation with Ljubljana Tourism Organization is the MONA 2000. Uh, project. It, it was organized in 2014 and 15 to celebrate the biennial anniversary uh, of the building of uh, Roman Emona. Uh, the project included many partners within Ljubljana, such as uh, museums, schools, kindergartens, libraries, non-profit organizations, other public institutions, national TV and radio, uh, theater producers, uh, touristic organizations, uh, restaurants, hotels, souvenir shops, etc. The whole city was, was breeding this project. Um, and they were all coordinated by the municipality of Ljubljana. So this is very important, the, the, the municipality adopted the idea of, of our archaeological heritage. Um, so all partners prepared a one-year extensive program for Ramona 2000, but uh, here we will focus on our experience with Ljubljana Tourism Organization. Uh, in the preparation phase, uh, two years before the implementation of the Ramona 2000 project, we already started cooperating with Ljubljana Tourism. Um, together we prepared a program and marketing strategy targeting specifically tourists. Uh, that included promotion of Emona 2000 on a larger tourist fairs in Europe, for example, I feel Slovenia, maybe you, uh, you, you feel it too. Um, uh, so uh, um, we prepared a promo uh, several promotional materials, souvenir goods, programs, etc. Um, let me focus now for, for a conclusion on conflicts and benefits. Uh, the preparation phase was also a time when we defined, uh, defined our roles in this project. However, when the project began, um, those arrangements were not always uh, respected. For example, <coughs> overbooking of the park um, of the park locations due to lack of communication happened. Uh, in some aspects, financial obligations were not respected. Some of the guides were walking all over uh, the protected Roman remains on the parks. Um, the previously confirmed arrangements about the, the level of authenticity of programs, cost, historical costumes, souvenirs, etc. were not respected. However, uh, if I paraphrase the famous Monty Python's Life of Brian quotation, what did the Ljubljana Tourism Organization ever do for us? There, was, <laughs> there were, of course, many benefits of this cooperation. Um, through combining our sources, we achieved general success of the project and satisfaction of visitors. Uh, in 2014, we had a 30% growth in visitors to the park comparing to 2013, so this is a really big number for us. Um, larger recognition of Mona among locals um, and tourists was achieved due to the extensive promotional campaign made both by Ljubljana Tourism and MGML. Um, Ljubljana Tourism Organization recognized archaeological heritage of Emona as an important tourist attraction and continues to use it even today. Uh, and most of all, we got to know each other. Both organizations, so Ljubljana Tourism and MGML, were learning our differences and recognizing major benefits of working together, which 
also leads to easier cooperation in the future similar projects. So you know the person, you just pick up the phone and deal with it. So talk to him. Um, okay, so overall the archaeological tourism projects like renovation and revitalization of Emona and uh, Emona 2000 project were very useful uh, experience for further planning and development of archaeological park Emona in the future. So.